I will be doing a fire alarm scenario by triggering a smoke detector, assuming we have a fire happening in a specific location. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fire emergency. Please leave the building immediately by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. So the operator first will click on accept so the alarm will stop. Before jumping to our navigation screen to start investigating and trying to solve this problem, uh, I will first show you the automatic actions done by Wingard. So Wingard here is programmed in this situation to display a message on all the digital signage screens in all the buildings showing a message that a fire alarm is happening with its specific location. Some lights were turned on automatically to facilitate the evacuation process, some motion detection and some uh, points related to intrusion detection system were automatically disarmed to prevent any false alarm coming to Wingard during the evacuation process. We have also automatically uh, some doors were opened. You can see on the left side here, lobby and office, we can see this icon here that it is unlocked. So all of these actions are automatically done by Wingard once we receive this alarm before even the operator do anything. So now the operator will start investigating. Now he can see the maps associated with that location. We can see that one of the rooms here is highlighted. So we can know that the smoke detector is located in this room. To see more details, we can check additional drawings here, as you can see, graphic two. So as I told you, we can have up to five graphics. We can have multiple different drawings to facilitate the operator investigation. Now on the right side, we can see more information related to this uh, alarm, the exact location of this alarm, engineering room, first floor, logistics building, and company area. In addition to the time and date, and of course, the reason behind the alarm, and finally, the workflow. Now, before checking the workflow on our second screen, we can see also the cameras that will pop up once we uh, receive this alarm. We can see clearly a smoke is generated from that location. And we have on the right side an image exported five seconds before the event. We can attach this image so we can see it also separately in our report and here in the attachment section. Now, on the right side, the operator will start investigating. He will check the cameras. It is, yes, real alarm. So the operator will definitely choose yes. If you can see here, if I am choosing no or unknown, the next steps will be different because this is a dynamic workflow. So it is uh, critical that the operator is choosing the correct answer here. Now, moving to the next step, we can start the fire extinguisher system from Wingard. In parallel, we are checking the fire, whether it is under control or not. In our situation, it is not under control yet, so we are going to send a public address announcement again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fire emergency. Please leave the building immediately by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. We can inform the staff by either calling them or sending a text message. All the information related to this alarm will be displayed, fire alarm in a specific location with time and date. We can also send them an email to ensure that everyone has been informed. All of these actions, by the way, also it will be directly displayed here, all these in the event log. So sending email was the last action I have done. So here I will be opening the gate barrier in the outside area. So let me show you the simulation here. This is the gate barrier simulation. When I'm clicking on this, it will be directly uh, opening for the fire brigade to come inside and people evacuating to go outside. Assuming now the fire is under control by the fire brigade, we can send a clear message via public address. And finally, we can reset the smoke detector from Wingard. And finally, we can export a detailed report about this event. And this PDF report, we have all the information. Now it is loading so double click on the report we can see all the information related to this alarm starting from the location time and date the name of the operator who was handling this event and all the actions done by the operator and finally the drawings highlighting the exact location of the smoke detector and finally the image which we have exported so all of these will be included in the report Finally, once the operator ensures that everyone is safe and this alarm has been solved, we can close this event by clicking on complete. I think you have noticed that through 
the integration with multiple systems, we benefited from it. We were able to check the cameras, we open the gate barrier, we can send public address announcement, we uh, started the fire extinguisher system, we initiated calls, we sent SMS, we sent email. So this is briefly how our Wingard enables numerous organizational benefits by increasing the control ability and improving the situation awareness. Our demo panel, so as you can see, it is composed of multiple boxes where each one of these boxes is representing specific subsystem type. The first one is about fire alarm events. Second one is about intrusion detection system. Third one, CCTV scenarios, access control system scenarios, intercom and elevator scenarios. Public address, uh, BMS uh, sensors like water level sensor, temperature and pressure sensors, boiler also simulation, shield water system simulation. We have lights, we can turn on curtains, we can close or open integration with GIS and I can show you a real time scenario here using our mobile application. And we have here a jail section or any area that has a fence and someone, for example, is approaching from this fence and he was detected by the cameras. Or if you are installing fiber sensors around this fence, so he will be detected if he's cutting or climbing above the fence. Now we have here parking management system.